Hi, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today I'm going to make the unboxing video of this large. This box was sent uh, to me with items for review purposes by Apple Boom um, on the Netherlands. Uh, Apple Boom is a, is a store, it has a, an online store and it is quite useful for the people who live in the European Union. Um, and that's it. Let's see what is inside. He didn't send me any paper or any email with what is inside, so it will be also a surprise for me. So let's take the knife and start working on this. I don't want to cut this very deep to avoid ruining anything. And now I think this will be enough. Some noise to the camera. As usual, Lee, sorry. Okay. Now let's take a look. I'm quite uh, excited with this because uh, it's always fun to, to receive pens and other related stuff on the map. So first a lot of the packaging material made of paper which is nice and some made of styrofoam. Okay. Not so eco-friendly, but nice also. The important is we have all these uh, secure and protected. I'm seeing some things interesting here. Uh, okay, let's start. First, we'll go to this. This is a Lamy, as you can see. And what is inside? Oh, it is a Lamy Ion quite heavy. I didn't know this pen before, just in videos from other people. Nice to nice one to test. And maybe to make some comparisons with uh, other Lamy pens. Here, what is inside? This is a, an, an Opus 88. How does this open? Sorry about the close up, but my camera is not that good and it is quite hard to do this. Oh, this looks nice and really big. Okay, I have to figure out which is the name of these. Opus 88, I'll see this on their website, but this is big pen and quite nice. I, 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 I feel this is quite nice. Okay, so let's put this back inside. I know that when I do this, I spoil all the emotion of an unboxing video on the reviews because you already know the pens I'm talking about but I think it makes sense to show when I open this box and here what do we have a pelican I wonder if this is the Pura which is a model that I've been wanting well this one has this white fake leather what is inside well that is this is the pura and it has quite nice design i've been wanting to try out this pen for 
a very long time, but I never saw one uh, in person, so I'm quite excited with this. Okay, let's put these inside again. While I still I still know which pen goes in which box, and so we have an Opus eighty eight, which is a pen I never tried. I have tried anything from the from the brand, and I see here also a Pinider. I never tried anything from Pinider either, uh, and. Let's open this beautiful box. I'm trying not to ruin it because these pens are on loan. They are not for me, although sometimes they tell me to keep one or another, but these pens are to send back unless I want to buy them from from Apogun. Wow, very beautiful color. And this is a very, very snug fit. This is... This pen is beautiful. Very, very beautiful. I've seen some videos about these pinider pens, but I had never seen one in person. And it's really exciting to have one in my hands. Very beautiful. I'm, I have to say that I'm quite impressed. I know these metal sections are not for everyone, but this looks great and this magnetic cap so very very nice <laughs> I'm very happy I have lots of work in front of me and uh, I'd like to do this faster but maybe this will take me some months to go through all these pens because I have to ink them and use them and try them and so on. And here we have something interesting, the fountain pen snorkel from Pinider, which is a quite interesting tool, and also the this pen filler, this lack of uh, traveling inkwell from Pinider also. So nice things to try. More we have here the Platinum Plaisir nice one to try i have a um, platinum preppy so i think this will be useful and sometimes people wonder about cheaper pens and this is a great addition to that and here we have a tusby a tusby so many pens i never thought they would send me such a big box mm. Why can't I open this one? Let me check. Okay, it has some tape here. I have to cut it. So, the USB. I know the video is getting long, but Okay. Oops. Okay. Now we can open it, and this is a USB Go, which is a pen that I was interested in seeing because of the different filling mechanism. So nice pen to try. I, I, I have a, a plati um, sorry, a Tuesby pen, which is um, 
uh, a diamond 540, I think that's the name, and that pen broke all over the place. So I'm not that excited with QSB pens, at least that kind of model, but I was quite interested in this one because of the building system. And here, Faber Castell and these holes will tell me this is a grip pen and it is quite interesting feel to the touch and another nice one to try and let's put this inside again and now Let's go for another cover castell. It's so hard to receive all these pens and uh, not wanting to buy a lot of them. And this is the Faber Castell, and I can't remember the name of this of this model. It is the something slim, which is quite nice with the rose gold dream beautiful pen i'll get the names all right when i have to make the reviews but then i will be prepared with the name of the pens now i'm not because i didn't know what would come inside and we are getting to the end we still have three boxes and let's go for another Opus 88. And yes, this is different from the other one, even the model looks different. And so I never saw or tried an Opus 88 and sorry out of camera just to focus and now I have two of them to try these are really girthy pens which is something I enjoy I enjoy big pens although I'm a Caveco sport fan which is quite um, it looks a, a little bit strange uh, because I like large pens, I also like uh, small ones. And this is the All American Conklin. This has a, a, an impressive, really impressive color. Very beautiful, very shiny. Really, really impressive. I, I, I like these nibs. I like the shape of the nibs. Many people complain about them. They say they are too dry. I have one Conklin uh, that I tried and I really liked it. Um, I don't like pens that are super wet or at least they are so wet that makes the, the lines too thick. And now let's go for the last one and take this huge box out of the way and then just let me put things here on camera again and take the knife out and let's open the last box which is a Visconti and I just hope this is the breeze yes it is the breeze it is a pen that I'm quite excited to try also because it is a cheaper not too cheap because it is a Visconti but it is a cheaper pen and I'm really excited to know uh, how it looks and how it feels and this may be one that I may want to to get for myself and it is the yellow one which is my favorite color yellow or green or greenish yellow uh, I'm not I don't know. Very beautiful. 
It really reminds me of the Van Gogh that I already reviewed and it was sent also by uh, Apple Boom and I love these magnetic caps, I have to say. Quite thick resin. The nib looks a little bit small for the size of the section, but it's nice. I think this is a beautiful pen to have. Well, the converter got loose. So I'm really excited and I have to decide of all these which pen shall I ink first. There are so many that I, I'm not really sure. So uh, I, I usually don't do th these kind of things but maybe because you're watching our videos, because you follow the channel, why don't you say something to me? What do you think you would like to to see first getting inked and reviewed? Uh, I, I would really like to have some ideas, some thoughts about that. Uh, I, I, eventual, I eventually will have to, will have, it's not uh, like a problem, it's not an obligation, but I, I'll have to, to review them all, so it's not a big thing, I'll have to review them, but where do you think, this is a pen sleeve that I don't know, where it belonged now, um, where do you think I should start? I have so many pens here, very uh, some different filling systems like the, the eyedroppers or the cartridge converter pens, and I have lots of brands and pens here and filling systems and that all. So please drop me a line below on the comment section and tell me which of these do you like do you would like to see inked first uh, if you reply quickly uh, when I prepare on Sunday the pens that I will be using for the next week I will include that one already inked to be used in that in the following week the next week so please tell me what you think which one should I ink first and Thank you so much for watching to such a long video, 18 minutes, sorry about this. I hope you liked it, please, if you liked it, subscribe our YouTube channel and keep coming back for more videos like this and some other type. See you next time, bye.